In this video, I want to talk about single and multiple anchor points. And anchor points are used when you want to get the effects of generators, like a dirt generator or um, uh, edgeware generator, uh, onto an alpha or a normal map so that those alphas or normals have uh, some of those effects. So for example, I'm going to use my computer interface here, this terminal, and I'm going to do some alpha work right here on the front, and then I'm going to demonstrate what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to come to the top and I'm going to create a paint layer, and I want only height, and I'm going to drop the height level down to there. All right, so I'm going to call this alpha, and I'm going to go to orthographic, snap to orthographic, and turn on symmetry and use these alpha lines. Now if I click right here, you can see that I've got some indentations, but there's no dirt or um, edge wear on those. They just look like that. So I'm going to turn off that, turn, come back to perspective and turn off that. So we want to get some effects on here. So this is where anchor points come in. What you need to do is think of an anchor like on a ship. It's below the ship. So I'm going to pull that down below the layers here that would have a generator. Here's a dirt generator. Here's another metal edge uh, generator. All right, so I pull them down below. And if I have, if I want just one single anchor point, let's say I want dirt on there, I would on my alpha layer, click here in the magic wand, add an anchor point. It will have the same name as the layer. And I choose which generator I want. I'm going to use dirt in this case. Go to the dirt generator scroll down a little bit to micro details make sure it says micro height true and scroll to the bottom micro height choose the anchor point like that and then switch this the reference channel to height and now that dirt is going into my alpha and it looks a lot better but what if i wanted more than one anchor point what if i wanted some edge wear or any other generator on there. Well, there's a different way to do this. So I'm gonna delete that, and I'm gonna come back to my dirt, and I'm gonna delete that. All right, so here is one way to do that. There may be more than one, but this is the one that I have found works, and I haven't seen any videos on this, so that's why I wanted to do this for you. I want more than one generator to affect this. So I do my alpha work down here, and then I create a fill layer, and I'm gonna call this anchor points. You can call it whatever you want. Right on here, I now add an anchor point. And then on, on, on this layer, I add a black mask. Now, back in this anchor point layer right there, I'm gonna switch over to height. In the case of alphas, I'm gonna be dealing with height. And I change it here from linear dodge to pass through. If you're using normals, you change the normal to pass through. You can do both of them, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go back to base color now, that's done. So again, my anchor point layer is below the generators. And my layer that I want my effects on is below the anchor point layer. All right, now I can come to the dirt generator and do the same kind of thing make sure in micro details this is set to true for alphas or for normals switch that on and you can either choose either of these but for alphas i'm going to choose micro height choose the anchor point change the base color to say height the dirt is in there but i have another generator i want to use i want to use this metal edge generator as well in addition so this is the multiple anchor points go to that generator find the micro details switch micro height to true for alphas and do the same thing down here choose that and then height and now i have the edge wear and the dirt and then from there you can make some subtle changes with the levels and see you know to get to the point where you're where you're happy with that i get a little bit of the edge wear in there and and that if I was to come back to this alpha layer now, and I have just, just set to height, I can change that if you want to. Uh, and if I search for something like circle, and just randomly just choose something. And if I turn, say, symmetry back on, something like this. If I click here, 
I will get that effect. I'll turn off that and that. I have both the dirt and the edge wear, so multiple anchor points, multiple generators affecting these alphas. All right. So, something to take note of. Take care.